Experts call on the Arab League to apply pressure on Syria's Bashar al-Assad. The Airways cancels all flights heading to Sudan. Qatar 2022 cut out a huge chunk of carbon emissions. And finally, could Christophe Galtier's time at PSG be running out? Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar held on to its long-standing position during a meeting in Jeddah on Friday, rejecting the return of Syria's Bashar al-Assad regime to the Arab League. But with Saudi Arabia leading the push to reinstate the regime, some experts say it is a question of when, not if. Political analysts told Doha News that the Arab League must now pressure Assad to make concessions before making a comeback on the world stage. Qatar believes normalizing ties with Assad would be betrayal of the Syrian people. Now, Qatar Airways announced the suspension of all its flights to Sudan. Due to the closure of Khartoum International Airport, fights erupted in Sudan between the government's army and the paramilitary rapid support forces in Khartoum on Saturday, prompting a lockdown of the airport. So far, the violence has killed nearly 100 people as the flare-up continues for the third day. On Sunday, the Arab League also called for an immediate cessation of hostilities during an emergency session. Now, organizers of the historic World Cup in Qatar say they managed to cut out approximately 9,000 tons of carbon emissions during the tournament. The Gulf state utilized temporary powering facilities from its own national grid to power up stadiums instead of using diesel generators. The Supreme Committee says the project saved more than 5 million liters of diesel. And finally, under fire PSG coach Christophe Galtier might have picked up a 3-1 win over Lens on Saturday, but his future looks more uncertain than ever. According to French publication Le Quip, Galtier's exit with PSG has been sealed since the Parisian club lost eight times in 18 games from the start of 2023 exiting the coveted UEFA Champions League in the process. Gaultier was only appointed as Paris Saint-Germain coach in July 2022. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.